I'm now going to add a barcode to my magazine cover. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to find a barcode off the internet. There's loads of good ones you can copy or download. So to do that, we're simply going to go onto the internet, do an image search for barcode. I'm going to find one that looks suitable. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to copy image. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to go to edit, paste. You can see that it's pasted my image in on the new layer. I can move my barcode around. I can obviously resize it. Now when you pasted an image, generally if you make it bigger, you're going to start to lose quality. It's going to start to look a bit blocky. Making it smaller is absolutely fine. So you just need to make sure you get an image that's big enough in the first place for the size you want on your magazine. I'm going to put my barcode down here. You could of course rotate it on its side. Press enter when you're happy. So lastly, a good tip is to rename your layers so you can identify them easily later on. When you start getting loads of different bits on your magazine cover, you could have 10, 20 or even 30 layers and it becomes really difficult to manage. So up here we've got layer 1, which I know is my barcode, I can see it in the uh, preview here. I can also see that once I've got the layer selected, it's actually selected the barcode on the page. But if I double click on the text, layer 1, I can just type barcode and that will let me know that in the future, this layer is my barcode. So once your magazine's completely finished, you're going to need to save your work, so file, save. You're also going to want to export it into a format that we can print. And the best option for that is to go up to file, save as, and go down to format, and where it says Photoshop, if we click and we look for Photoshop PDF, we can actually call it Daniel Magazine Cover Print Version click save and that will save a PDF version that we can use to print. Now these settings you can pick whatever you want, high quality print is probably the best option. Click save PDF, blah 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 blah, do you want to continue? Yes. Now when it's finished saving, it's important to remember that you're now in the PDF version of your magazine cover. If you want to make any amendments or changes to your magazine, you really do need to close the PDF version and then you need to go to File, Open and find your original Photoshop version which is a PSD file. So you can see up here I've got my PSD version and I've got the PDF version I've just made. The PDF for printing, the PSD is your original work that you want to change. So just go to Open and then you can edit that 